Now, I remember last year, Ebi Numa failed in his first match. He, he was thrown by Kong Magdalene. We're going to see here if he can get the Japanese team on pace. Fighting Ong Ball. We know what goes in for Sayonage. Drops in again. On picks up the first penalty. Now he goes in for his Sayanage. Ebinuma looks at Ochigari. Goes in for Sayanage. Oh, and that's a good job of sprawling out, defending against any Nawaza. Think about it, Ebi Numa went out early in the individuals. This is his chance for a medal from these world championships. And Baul picked up a second penalty there for passivity. Obviously the first warning didn't have the desired effect. Hasn't been able to generate the kind of offense that would keep him from picking up a second. So there it is on the board now. Two penalties against the South Korea. Yeah, Minua did well to prevent that from being a score move. Just as he's on the way over his back, he's able to twist his body about 170 degrees. See, he puts his hand down, gets his, his head down. Yeah, maybe just the head and the hand, enough to stop him from going over. Just wasn't quite enough at the end of that for Anbao to come up. Also to Gadi. Didn't score. Like 
See, that was kind of a half-hearted effort there. I'm sure on the ball went all out, but... And we knew what goes in for Sayonage. Everybody gets called for a false attack there. So now it's just one penalty with 30 seconds. A penalty between them. Big move there by An. Totally committed, but he lost his grip. Ebinuma goes in for Sayanage. An goes in for his own. Ten minutes. Ebinuma's going to pull him over into Newaza. And now just five seconds on the clock. Ebinuma goes in for this last Sayanage, and he's done his job. The difference, just one penalty, a really hard-fought match. They really went head-to-head. -head. This is a key contest because in the next two, I think I would pick Nagase for Japan and the following one, Guac for Korea. Nakia Ricky going down into Stemiwaza. Again, this time keeps with the Tomoenage. Unable to cartwheel off of that. Already two attacks by White. It rolls in for Sayanage. It was the third attack by Nake Ariki, so An receives the first penalty. Time it's on who goes in with Sanage. Ah, oh, looking for a little Kosoto there.
the Tomonage attempt there. So Nakariki just trying to keep looking busy here. See if he can draw the passive penalties against On. And so far he succeeded on two occasions. On turns in for Seonage. And just like Ebinuma, Nakariki was able to use his, this time his, his arm and his head to rotate off of that. He's lucky that he came down on the other side. Yes, otherwise because if he if he'd come down on the other side, he would have bridged. Yeah, I'm not not entirely sure that that he was not bridging there, but not in the uh, a conventional way. He wasn't showing any back. If he had, he'd have been on off. And had him trapped up there with that effort. Almost came up with a score. That Sayanagi looked very, very dangerous. As opposed to that one. <laughs> Which never really got started. No. So he's trying Sorry. to roll in there, but I don't know if Nakariki's selling it. Sure enough, he's not. He picks up a penalty for a false attack. Two minutes left, plenty of time. You can see in the background Nagase pacing. It's not attractive from Nakaya at the moment, is it? it and, and it's not desperate, but he's searching for something, and he, he's not he's not finding it. Well, he's the one guy. I mean, when he goes into uh, Stemiwaza, he means to do it because that's that's this one of his uh, his best techniques. But sometimes it doesn't look very good when he does it. Mm. There he looked for Uchimata. And he drops in again there for Tomoe Nage. This time kicking in the second foot. Dropping in one, two, just can't control the arms. Allows on to sort of cartwheel out of that. On goes in for Sayanage this time. He scores, and I believe that that was a bridge. You know, first time didn't get there. Second time he got off so it. Third it's time. It's a Wazadi, but I think I think okay. Nake a bridge there. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's not. That's not our angle. Yeah, that wasn't our angle. I think they're going to take another yeah, look yeah, at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Koreans know it. South Koreans are jumping up and down because they know it. Yeah. They just call it Epon. Yeah. <laughs> Sung Dae Nam was getting a little build. bit um, nervous there. Eh? Kim Jae Boom in the stands. And Chang Rim takes that one and ties things up. 1-1. One, one. So those Monday morning oh, yeah. judo coaches yeah. are going to wonder why didn't they put Ono in there instead of Nakae Riki. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Still not the best angle. This is probably it here. Just look at the legs here. Yeah. Right, that was a bridge, wasn't it? Not just an Ipom, but... Yes, he does. You can see it from the leg position, the shape you of the legs. The arch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you get the arch and that's it. He knows it. Pretty good score anyway. Yeah, good throw. 
Couldn't stop it. No. Head goes down. Legs. Arch. It's a reasonable case for it on anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you got the point where they got the arch in or yeah, not. Exactly. Yeah. And that brings up Lee Seng Su against Nagase Takanori. So at this point, Japan's got one world champion in, and then Korea has a world champion in the next fight. So you would assume that these two would win, split the difference, and it would come down to the heavyweights. Which would make a nice little end to this team championship final. I wonder if that's the way it will work out. Or you could have the two non-world champions win. <laughs> Suzuki Keiji looking on. Nagase picks up the first penalty. And Lee had stepped out there. So now it's all even at a penalty apiece. Nagase going for Ochi. We started out with that Uchimata, then turned to Ochi. I'm not sure if that was a counter by Lee that started Just moving the, that way. Yeah, he, he looked as though he was shaping for that, but couldn't bring it off. I think he, he was still dealing with the attack. Yeah, wasn't in the best position for the counter. Just a little bit further to the left. A little bit more pull. In a way, Koze wanted a, a penalty for what he thought was a false attack. Good gripping from Nagase, making it difficult for Leeds. Certainly getting the leg in there for the Uchigari, and he works at, that was a Hizagum, I think, versus Sasai. There he goes, oh, Uchigari. Oh, now to his front, there'll be no score there. Some of the Korean team finding it hard to, to look. Difficult to watch. <laughs> Lee has picked up a second penalty. Wagonagase was trying to work that Sankaku Osai Koi. Seen a couple of those this week.
This is a real nail biter, this one. We're into that less than a minute stage. I was gonna say either he's gonna get credit for the attacks or he's gonna get hit for a false attack. Looks like it's gonna be neither. Just a single penalty between the two of them. Nagase likes his position. Colomate. Guys, he's gonna ride him out here, Nawaza. So just like Ebi Numa, it comes down to this single Shido that's going to bring Nagase through. Or should. We have one second left. Now Guok's got to work on getting the Koreans back into this, South Koreans back into this match. This is it then, David. Kwak Donghan, Yoshida Yuya. And a must win situation for the South Koreans. This is a real challenge for Yoshida. He's, he's trying to beat the current world champion. First Shido goes to Yoshida, grabbing inside the cuff. Yoshida try to work some kind of one-handed Uchimata. And goes in for Tomonage.
Gwok just jacking up Yoshida a little bit here. Neither one of them yet can get the sleeve grip. Yoshida finally gets a grip and gets broken by Guac. Penalty apiece. So less than two minutes. It's now South Korea ahead, courtesy of that second penalty to Japan. Yoshida goes flying there with Uchimata, but he doesn't have the sleeve, so. The clock runs down, less than a minute left. Yoshida tries for the double hand, Seonage. Guac works on some Newaza. This time, time is on his side. Took about 15 seconds off the clock there. After that failed effort from Yoshida. Half a minute left to go. What can't afford an error now. Yoshida almost gets... Lucky to turn onto his front. Yeah, it was a good yeah. effort. Well, Yoshida didn't have the other arm. I mean, so that allowed Guac to spin out of that. Caught the foot. No. Had him going backwards. No. Just couldn't control. Yoshida throwing everything at it now. Six seconds to go. Too late. Buck gets both hands on his opponent, but... Buck remains on his feet. And the drama builds. It's not a lot to ask, is it, that we should come to the last contest and it will be 2-2. Two -two. That's, you know, par for the course, isn't it? <laughs> bit, a bit of tension in there, bit of drama. Right, it wasn't pretty but it was absolutely necessary and vital that Kwok won that contest. And he just squeezed past Yoshida to bring the scores level. Two to two then, we've got the big men to sort it out. It's Ojitani Takeshi of Japan up against Kim Sung Min of South Korea. Last year, Japan was in this position against Russia, and Inoue Kose picked Shichinohe. Now, it all rests on Ojitani. And for Korea, Kim Sung Min.
nice grip here that Kim's got. See if he can use it now. Ajitani shapes to go over on the right side. It doesn't. Kim is sizing that side up himself. He's yet to launch. A little push of the knee and push of the right hip. Flexing, flexing himself as he prepares to go over there. But that's all that happens. It's just a, a flexing of muscles without any, without any action. I'm just looking for that one moment of Kazushi to spring. Comes that grip again from Kim. Kim's Ojitani. got Ojitani pretty deep. Yeah, Ojitani going inside and... Ojitani goes for a big Osoto. Almost. The exact same position he was against uh, Kawakami in the 2014 All Japans. Jitani looking perhaps for Sasai. God, the tension, the drama. And Kim gets the only Shido in this case. Kim comes out aggressive. Pounces on Ojitani, you can feel that extra gear. <laughs> that's, that's, that's when Kim has got his best chance, when Ojitani's on the move. As long as he leaves him standing still, Look at what it'll be hard to bring down. Much better when he's got him moving. Ojitani's got to get attack in himself. He goes for the big Osoto. Couldn't, couldn't come up with a counter. Kim is shaping for the counter then, lost con uh, contact with the hands. Little over a minute left to go. Oh, it's a nice exchange there. Kim moves, get Obuchgani. He's got the arm here. Doesn't look like it. Well, if Kim's clever, he'll put, he'll go flat out here. Cho Guam screaming for them to give Ojitani a Shido for passivity. <laughs> He's going wild, wasn't he, Cho? <laughs> Nothing else for it. Flat out. You can't catch him. And the other thing that can happen is that 
He'll be given a passivity penalty. All right, one minute left. Got to be first here, as Kim put the pressure on, and now a big attack. Mojitani can prevent this. Mojitani goes for a Sasai. Where's the big attack? The pulling around's not doing it. Mojitani goes for a big Osoto. Kim comes big over the top. Kim goes for his big Osoto. It, it collapses. Ojikani can go to work go there. Stay there. Eight seconds. This is it now. One last attack. Throw everything at him. He wasn't able to come up with enough big attacks. Kim Ojitani held him off. And Japan win out three to two. Even though there were no scores, that was an exciting match. Yeah, it was a good, it was, it was a good match. It was a good match. It, it's unfortunate when it comes down to the last man and he, he leaves it a little bit flat. He didn't give his best performance. I'm scoring in all those in. matches. There was one Epon by An and the rest was all penalties. That's how close this was. Yeah. It came down to a penalty apiece in a couple of matches. That's it. It was a good match. Korea, South Korea had looked good on their way, you know, ripping through the field. That is a young, scary yeah. Korean men's team, and they'll be back, and they are going to be good. They are already good. They've They've got a world champion and a couple contenders.